Digging and Rigging is a family-owned company that was established in 1981. It's based in Maryland and serves the eastern seaboard of the USA. They run a variety of Liebherr cranes and they all look particularly good in the metallic brown and cream colour scheme. So it's time for a scale model in digging and rigging colours. This is a limited edition of the Liebherr LTM 1050 and it's produced by WSI Models. It comes in a typical Liebherr branded box and inside there are a couple of factory sealed trays but there are no instructions with this model. With the lid off you can see that the model is wrapped in clear plastic. Wow that's a beautiful colour scheme but to start with we'll get it ready for the road by loading on the counterweight. To spread the load evenly over the axles a part of it goes at the front and we can attach the rest of it on at the back. It clips on using plastic clips and on the review model they're stiff enough to hold the counterweight nice and firmly. So with a bit of pressure it stays in place well. Straight out of the box the crane is ready reeved for the road so the only other thing we have to do is hang on the fly jib. To get it to sit in the right place the eyelets at the front of the jib need to line up with the eyelets on the boom head. This crane model was originally introduced in 2010 and it still measures up very well in terms of detailing. The chassis is fully modelled and there are plenty of small hoses. On the outside it is full of intricate and tiny details. That includes graphics on the cab window and many tiny graphics around the rest of the model. Also really good is the high quality digging and rigging graphics with that metallic paint finish. Looking at the back of the crane and the level of detailing is the same. There are many more tiny graphics and also there are hydraulic hoses which add detail. Detail inside the cab includes the Liebherr name on the seat back. The counterweight is nicely formed in various sections and it has the Liebherr name embossed at the back. Each boom section has also got high quality graphics on it and at the boom head a hoist cutoff chain adds to the realism. The metal fly jib also looks good in the striking digging and rigging colour scheme. As usual we start underneath and there's no working suspension on the model but there is notched steering which is very good and you can replicate all of the steering modes of the real machine. And if we see it in action the giant hand drives the crane smoothly enough. If you want to set the steering then the crane will pose well on the display shelf but you can also practice doing tight turns. And if you are a nature lover you can replicate crab steering. So let's set the crane up and the first thing to do is to pull out the outrigger beams which were very stiff on the review model. They are metal and they are single stage. To lower the pads it's the usual system of unscrewing and the pistons have nice smooth faces. The pads can be positioned offset for transport or centralised for when they're working. Also included with the model are some small square plastic spreader plates. They are a bit slippery so the crane slides about but they will hold it wheels free. When lifting the boom the hydraulic ram has some stiffness but it might bleed down if you put the crane under load. One thing that was particularly nice on the review model was the nice smooth rotation. And with the crane rotated you can attach the remainder of the counterweight using a couple of giant hand cranes. As long as you clip the counterweights on firmly enough you can rotate the crane and the counterweights won't foul the carrier deck. A couple of other features on the model include a pull out walkway section and if you want to have a nice pleasant sleep in the cab then you can tilt it back. Each of the telescopic sections pulls out smoothly enough and there's a single locking clip on each one. And if you want some extra reach on your crane you can attach the optional fly jib. To drive the crane and operate the winch a key is supplied and the winch drum just relies on friction to hold a load and on the review model it was good enough. <music> we 
We've reviewed other versions of this crane before, so see those if you're interested. But this one is probably the most good looking because of the digging and rigging colour scheme. Most of the functionality is good enough, but where the model really scores is in the high level of detailing. So in summary, it's easy to rate it as very good. Thank you.